Coach Mark here. Welcome to the Art of Transformation podcast. Today, I'm inspired to do a one on whatever you call it, one to everybody kind of podcast, because I've been going through a course recently that really got to the root of what so many of my clients want. If I could say that there's one result, when I ask people, what do you want? What do you want to create in our coaching relationship? What do you want to create through this group program? The thing that everybody wants is more time. They want that time freedom. They want to be able to spend time with their family or spend time uh, building that new company or just working on their own projects. And the thing that they don't have, somehow everybody seems to be out of time. So I'm going to share an idea here that hopefully will help you identify where you're losing time and how to create more time. It's very, very simple. Honestly, I hope you've heard it before. I'm not reinventing the wheel here, but I hope that you'll actually take this exercise and do it because I think you'll discover where you can create more time. So the way to create more time is to track time, figure out where you're spending your time. Uh, the best way to do this, I think, is to actually start tracking now. Just take the next week or two weeks and just keep a little journal or a page or something on your phone and just sort of keep a loose track of how you're spending your time. Are you spending a lot of time cooking? Are you spending a lot of time cleaning? Are you spending a lot of time working on projects that you said yes to, that you sort of wish you hadn't? Are you spending a lot of time on various relationships? Maybe some are beneficial, maybe some aren't, maybe some are good for you, maybe some aren't. Doesn't matter, don't judge yourself. As you start doing this, don't start editing, don't start making up things because you feel a little bit of shame around how you're spending your time. There's no place for that here. We're just looking without judgment. In about a week or two, when you have all this stuff written down, you can start to look and you can start to hopefully see some broad categories of where you're spending your time. It should be, hopefully at that point, a little bit easier to see where you're spending time on things that you really don't want to be spending on. It's that point where you can start to create space. If you want to bring more things into your life that are more authentically aligned with your purpose, you have to find the places where you're out of alignment. It's very, very easy to see when you're writing them all down for a couple of weeks. When I do this exercise, I often find, I mean, honestly, I'll just tell you, like, it's how I spend a lot less time on social media. Because when I did this exercise, I found I was spending tons and tons of time just scrolling and looking at things and watching videos. And, and I looked at what I wanted to create in my life and it just wasn't a fit. I do spend some time there. I'm here with you now. But that's one thing. It could be relationships. It could be jobs that you don't want. You can start to look at these things and don't judge. Again, just think, okay, if I had this thing out of my life, now you're going to make a list of what do I want to fill that space with? You know, you can't fill space that isn't there. But you can start to think about what might come in. One of the problems with creating more time is that we don't have time to create the ideas that we're going to fill that time with. Let me put it simply, if you make more time and you don't have anything to fill it with, it's going to get filled with the same old stuff. So start making that list today, as well as your time tracking of what might you want to spend your time on if you had more time. Now, in the end of two weeks, you should have a great list of things that you wish you had more time for, and these things will come up over two weeks. You'll have a great list of how you're spending your time, and you can look at those lists and say, which of these things need to swap? Which of these things do I need to let go of to create space for the things that I actually want? It's a very, very simple exercise, but it's one that I do regularly and honestly it changes my life every single time. And if you do this exercise, again, I love to know how these episodes actually impact people in the real world. So send me a message or leave a comment or you know, send me you know, a, a smoke signal. Let me know how you're using these tools because I want to know what it actually creates for you. That's it for now. Thanks for listening to the Art of Transformation podcast, and I will see you on our next episode. Thanks a lot.